Okay, so what is this? This is the Eviton Technologies CLX. What this module is, is a dual clock module. We've got two clocking oscillators here that are putting out square waves. We've got high and low speed on them. But what's cool about this module is that not only does it have an output for each clock, but it also has logic outputs as well down below here. Now the logic outputs give us AND or exclusive OR. Now what the AND means is that when both clocks are high, you get an output. When the exclusive OR is used, you get an output only when A is high or B is high, but not when both are high. So this allows you to get some interesting rhythms and it also lets you use it as an interesting drone oscillator or LFO. In the patch that you just heard, I was using it to control the Eviton Technologies RF Nomad, uh, which is having uh, its tuning adjusted by an RYO step sequencer uh, being clocked from the B output here. That's why as I dropped it and kind of changed the tone of the drone, you also heard the RF Nomad kind of doing some interesting things. And then both are being uh, run into the Mutant Hot Glue, which is using its effects send and return capabilities with the Mankato filter. Uh, so what's really great about this module is of course, you can do interesting oddball drone things kind of in the same way as uh, something like a chaos oscillator. Uh, but what you can also do is you can get some really interesting rhythms, and we're going to kind of explore that now. So give me a second. I'm going to repatch this, and then we'll see a rhythm example of this module. Okay. So we're back now with the CLX and what I'm doing is I just have a kind of basic rhythmic patch set up, uh, kind of using some, some filters and whatnot as, as drums and melodies. But basically what I wanted to show is that you can use this module, uh, just the clocking from this module to get all of this rhythm. So what I've got here is clock A is going to be the envelope here for uh, the Mankato filter, which is acting as a kick drum. Uh, the Mankato filter is running into uh, an anamodule, tranamodule, along with some pink noise from the suit and tie guy uh, .shn. So let's go ahead and hear that. Okay, and then here we have a pseudo snare kind of weird noise. And what's happening is, is it's being triggered over here at the DSM module from the exclusive OR output. Um, so let's take a listen to that. And you'll hear how they're kind of playing off of each other because it's the two clocks and only when one or, one or the other is high will the DSM be triggered. Now let's go ahead and bring up this guy here. Just some noise. Now this is being triggered from the AND output. And that's just the white noise from the suit and tie guy module here. And then I can bring up, I have a RYO voltage sequencer and that's being clocked from the exclusive OR as well. And it's just running into the neutron sound organ accumulator over here. And let's hear how that's going. And as I change the clocks, you'll hear how everything kind of moves around each other.
you can go low and high. Now this is obviously gonna make this sort of timing go all crazy, but just to show you an example. patch here I just want to show you again a simple drone oscillation with this and also kind of give you an idea as far as how fast and how slow the clocks go on here so we have a output in low mode and I'll bring it up here you can hear it clicking away high mood okay so let's take a listen to uh, a drone patch with it all I'm going to be doing is sending the exclusive OR out and, uh, the ex and the AND out and then run it through a delay and a spring reverb and just give you an idea how this thing can sound. Let's go ahead and throw in a little bit of that RF Nomad.
hand out, put. 